Hey guys, I'm Kyle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect Zapier to WhatsApp. So let's get started. So here we are in a Zapier and first things first is you want to go log in into your account and once you're here you want to go search here when I receive a message in WhatsApp send me an email right here on their AI. So you want to hit on send and then you would have this uh, workflow right here that is made by Zapier. So all we have to do now is click here on try it and let's click on try it and then right here so we would need to sign in into timelines.ai right here so you want to click on this click on sign in and then after that right here as you can see uh you would need a token right here so you would need to click on this first so that you would be able to find your token and from here log in on timelines ai and i'm just gonna go for my company name first name last name i'm just gonna start my free trial and after that we're gonna click on generate new token and then as you can see we now have this token so we'll just um, copy that right here so right there copied and lines ai so we're gonna click on sign in there and then from here we're gonna paste the token and click yes and there you go it is now connected as you can see right here so now we can test it out right here test trigger so we start collecting your messages right here but we haven't connected our whatsapp yet so don't get too hasty with that right here so let's go into timelines ai in timelines ai so you're gonna click here on whatsapp accounts click on that and then you would need to connect your whatsapp right here so click on connect whatsapp account and from here as you can see it is a QR on the right side so what you want to do is you want to open up your whatsapp on your phone and you simply want to scan this QR code so let me uh, open up my whatsapp right here and I'm just gonna scan this code so I'm gonna click on generate QR and it will generate that so let's just wait for it to finish generating and as you can see right here it says that it might take for one minute when generating so now i'm gonna go and scan it right here so it is now scanned and once you have linked the device right here with your whatsapp and let's scan it again right here so right there so all you have to do is just go into your whatsapp in your phone and then just simply scan this code right here so once you have successfully connected your whatsapp into timelines ai you should be seeing something like this so when you go to chats you would be able to see all of the chats that you have right here so now that we have connected our whatsapp account into timelines ai you may now close it and now when you get back into zapier as you can see right here we have now successfully connected our account into timelines ai and as you can see right here everything is on check so now the next thing is now we're going to set up our email right here that is outbound by Zapier. So from here, you want to go here. You want to put your email right here so that it will be sent to you. And then the subject of your email and then the body right here. So you can just go for new message received in Timeless AI. So you can go for the uh, message text or some kind of message. You can go for phone number if you would like to include who is the one that is sending the message or you can go for message text and then next is you can go for sender name and then you can also go for the phone number right there so you can also go for the chat name so let's say this is what you want on your body that will be sent into your email so yeah and then you can also go for attachments if you would like that and then you can just choose here again from timelines ai if you need that and so on we're not gonna focus too much on this one right here so yeah you can just uh, modify it as much as you like and click on continue once you've done that and then from here you can test the step or you can skip it but let's test this so that we can check right here so right here so we'll create a new outbound email and then as you can see right here it has now been sent right here so now let's open up our gmail so let me just open up my gmail for you and let's see if it has now been sent to me right here 
and from here we're just gonna go into our spam because it might be in spam as you can see right here new message whatsapp this is what we have connected and as you can see right here this is the test we have received the email and yeah just like that we now have successfully connected whatsapp into zapier and remember that this is not only limited to sending you an email notification that someone has messaged you in WhatsApp. It could also be that when you receive a message in WhatsApp, then you would want Zapier to reply something in return. Then you can also do that. I'm just showing you the ropes here on how you can connect WhatsApp with Zapier right here using Timelines AI. And if you're asking why wouldn't we directly connect WhatsApp to Zapier, it's because WhatsApp is not available directly to Zapier. So that is basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.